Hi everyone, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you uh, one of my last Elf Feeds uh, orders that I placed recently. I focus mainly on uh, the Elf Petites. I did also get a few things um, in the, I guess, the regular uh, collection. So let me go ahead and open up this package so you can see everything. So everything, as always, is packaged so beautifully. Um, this fills pretty stuffed full of things. And as you can see from the baggie, uh, this one says Elf Petites. So, oh yeah. These are all my elf petites. So let me get everything out of the plastic and show you one by one. So I'm going to show you the silvers I selected first. And this particular silver here is just simply called Ladybug's Petite. And it is uh, a silver bead that just has trying to see if we can pick up better detail there. Just a bunch of little ladybugs just scattered all on top. Um, I never even knew this little silver existed until I really started going through um, the elf petite uh, portion of the website and thought I would give this one a try because uh, I do love ladybugs and I do have uh, one of the other uh, little glass beads um, that has the ladybugs on it so I thought these would be fun to pair together. So that's the ladybugs petite and this is the frangipani garden petite this is one that I already had one of from a while ago, and I have always wanted um, a second one. I actually have a pair of the, the larger version of this as well. I just think this is just the most beautiful little round flower bead. It just is fully... Um, covered with all these little um, frangipani blossoms and it is just adorable. In fact let me grab the um, full-size version just so you can see how petite this really is because I know on screen uh, right now it looks pretty huge because I have it um, kind of magnified here but let me grab the uh, big counterpart so you can see it. So here you have a side-by-side -side, uh, comparison of the Frangipani Garden Petite next to the full-size version of the Frangipani Garden. They are both beautiful, but obviously the Petite is much tinier uh, and works on the Elf Petite uh, bracelets. So there you have it. Another one of my favorite silvers from Elf Beads is the uh, Mountain Flower. Uh, the full-size version I do own and it is featured in many of my designs. Um, and Elf Beads also has a petite version. Um, here is the full-size version. And then beside it, there is the petite version. And it is just, I, I love that you can have petite versions of some of these elf beads. And there is no, uh, nothing left off there as far as the detail goes. Look how beautiful that is. So that is the mountain flower petite. Another bead that I also have uh, a full-size version of that I needed to get um, in the petite range is the Flower Fairy. 
and uh, you can see the actual fairy on the back side here. That's what you're seeing here on the left. And then, uh, you know, from the back side, she displays uh, these flowers on her head. And then, um, like, her dress ends in a uh, flower opening. And these are just darling. They are so delicate and so uh, petite. Uh, like here is the full size version uh, next to the petite and you can definitely see the size difference here. But again, no detail uh, is spared on the petite versions. You can see the detail of the fairy on the back side there. So that is Flower Fairy. And then I did order a few of the um, glass beads in the Elf Petite range as well. And what you are looking at here is a pair of Violet Gold Dust Blossom. And it's not a surprise from anyone here that purple is my favorite color. Uh, so I did want um, a pair of these. They are just so pretty. Like, I think the one on the left has just a little bit more of the pink, uh, like that underlying pink showing through, um, which is that color shift in that violet range. But uh, they are just equally beautiful. So that is the... Violet Gold Dust Petite Blossom. And then I ordered just one of the um, Halo Blossom uh, Petite Blossom Beads. As you can see, this one is just a little bit um, lighter. Like it still has that kind of underlying purple color. Um, the halo is more of a red-violet coloration, whereas the um, violet is more of that uh, blue-violet coloration. But it's interesting, like with the halo, you see kind of uh, like blue-violet undertones. And I thought these two uh, would play very nicely on a bracelet together. And as you can see, I wasn't wrong. So this one here is just the um, Halo Petite Blossom. And staying true to my love of purple, um, I also got a Stardust Sprinkles uh, Petite Blossom. And this one has uh, definitely that like periwinkle blue um, with like a light pink undertone. Just so, so, so pretty. So that is the Stardust Sprinkles Petite Blossom. Here's uh, just a last look at all of those just together on a rod. Unbox uh, what's in here next. Uh, this is uh, going to be, I think, the full-size beads that I ordered. This is a bead that I have long um, admired on the website, and I finally um, decided to take the plunge. This is the Blush Earth Bead Snow, and most of the Earth beads have um, this gold foil treatment um, and you know you typically think of gold as yellow gold the ones that say snow have almost like this white gold or white flake treatment on the inside and it is just so so pretty like I have a few blush flower twigs um, you know a few things in the blush range and just love this. Like I can see blues and red violets and orange and pink uh, all in this 
in this particular bead. It just looks like a sunset in a bead. Let me show it to you from the side. There's all that magic there. Just beautiful. So that is the blush earth bead snow. And then this is the Butter Tripetual. Um, this is a limited edition Tripetual. And uh, surprisingly, this isn't in their classics collection. Like I found this by just going through um, the full glass catalog. And I had recently purchased um, a pair of I believe it was flower stones or flower fields um, that also had butter uh, in the name and um, I don't know if this is an older bead but uh, you know I definitely wanted to get it I always try to get like a tripetual or a flower stone or a flower field uh, when I place an order this one is just so pretty it's completely opaque it has like that sky blue base, and then you have this pistachio green, uh, like four petal flowers with just a hint of, uh, I don't know, like a, a burnt umber uh, kind of outlining them. It is really pretty. Let me see if I can find um, those butter, uh, flower stones, or flower fields, uh, just so you can see what they look like side by side. So here is the bead that I was talking about. I purchased this in one of my last purchases, and as you can see, it is a perfect match. Uh, I just love it. Um, here we have it from the side. Like I said, this isn't um, in the classics uh, catalog because a lot of the flower stones and flower fields and tripetuals and um, even the, um, oh goodness, I'm blanking on uh, what it is, the, um, the flower twigs. The flower twigs is what I'm thinking of. You have a lot of those types of glass beads in the classic section, um, along with some very, you know, um, classic silver designs. But this one, like I said, was just, if you just look at the entire glass catalog, it was um, kind of buried in there, like on, you know, page 11 of 15 or, or something like that. So this is the um, Butter Tripetual. And let me show you too, because I want to say um, this is the Tripetual that I originally purchased to match. Um, and this one I believe is just called the Turquoise Tripetual. I'll put the name down here. But here's the, the differences. So I think this is kind of like the... Um, newly updated version of this one almost but as you can see this one is lighter like it's got a sky blue whereas this one um, is a deeper blue and uh, you know kind of that same uh, pistachio green but a deeper uh, pistachio green and even like that umber or whatever is a little bit darker um, so these two are going to look beautiful on a bracelet together as well. Um, you know, not 100% the same, but in that same uh, color family. So thought I would share that with you uh, in case you'd like to see it. It's amazing how the color just changes when I take my hand away versus when I have it there. Um, with my hand there it is definitely a more accurate depiction of the, the color. So, Butter Tripetual. And I also treated myself to a new pair of flower twigs. 
Here you are looking at the Gold Dust Nebula Amber Flower Twig. And uh, the nebula kind of describes that purple uh, that you kind of see in the base of the flower twig itself. And then the gold dust amber kind of describes, um, well, I think you do see a little bit of gold dust in the core of the bead. And then that amber uh, definitely describes the flower twigs themselves that are over the surface of the bead. And I am just, I don't know, it seems like uh, late August, uh, September, I have just been pulling all of my flower twigs out on every single Elf Beads bracelet uh, design that I've been putting together. In fact, let me grab um, some of the ones that I've been using because I just think these particular Elf Beads um, are just perfect for the fall season. So I wanna at least uh, share those with you so you can see them. But these right here, these are the Gold Dust Nebula Amber Flower Twigs. So here we have um, some of the flower twigs that I have just been pulling out uh, repeatedly. Like these just seem to be on repeat for the fall season. So um, I will put the names uh, here um, going left to right, but I know this one is um, Sunset and then this is like a lilac gold dust flower twig. This one I want to say is amber something. Um, sunny moss. And this is like a nebula gold dust. And then now we have uh, these kind of joining the mix, which is the gold dust nebula amber flower twigs. But I don't know. These just make me think of grapes and wine and I don't know making grape jelly um, you know just bringing in the harvest like it's just got all those beautiful harvest colors like these lilac ones here they in my opinion are kind of um, almost a neutral like they go so well with all of these but yeah when I say I've been pulling my flower twigs out I kid you not, like I just cannot resist them and they are just spectacular as you can see. Let me just kind of put my hand behind because uh, I just find it changes uh, the light just ever so slightly, but they are gorgeous and I will list them um, so you can find them in the catalog and know what it is that you're, what you're getting. But enough about flower twigs. Let me um, show what else I have. So that is everything I ordered. Um, I do have one extra bag here. And this uh, is items that Mila gifted me for review. Um, it's all in an Elf Petite baggie here. So I'm confident um, I have different Elf Petites to look at. Get them out of their baggies off screen uh, so I can share them with you. So the first two beads that my eyes are falling on are definitely kind of giving me um, almost Halloween vibes. Although maybe it's just me thinking of Halloween coming up. Um, but this I think also is very apt for the fall season. This is the Blackberry Candy world petite fractal and these um i do have a couple of the like candy beads like the fuller size candy beads and they always remind me of um like almost what you would look like if you were swirling uh, like a fruit puree through like a creamy yogurt um just that pattern or that swirl that you see and this is just such a pretty uh, light purple color. And then it does have like those darker swirls, 
with this being a world bead, it is round as opposed to uh, like a little donut that you see here. And I don't know if you guys can hear my dog breathing heavy. She's, she's sleeping beside me. So if you hear like a weird noise, that's what that is. <laughs> but uh, this is the Blackberry Candy World Petite Fractal. And then this one uh, is the Citrus World Petite Fractal. And it is just the most beautiful, bright, opaque, orange bead. Look how pretty that is. Let me take my hand away and then put my hand in just so you can kind of see the color shift a little bit so so pretty like when I said I definitely saw Halloween vibes like here are those two together I love purple and orange together at Halloween time so this one is the citrus world petite fractal this one here just makes me think of beaches and all the beautiful ocean motifs that elf beats has um, this is what i imagine diving into water in the caribbean would be like this is the turquoise world petite and this one is uh, non-faceted as you can see it's just entirely smooth and it just has that beautiful turquoise color like here it is from the side completely matte. Beautiful. And then the last petite that Mila gifted me for review is this one here. This is the Arctic World Petite Starlight Fractal. And she had released, um, oh goodness, like maybe a year back or well within the last year she had this wonderful uh galaxy release like part one and part two like the part one i think had more warm colors and the part two had cooler colors and she actually had um some beads with this coloration uh full size that i actually um purchased uh, a pair of so I'm actually very happy to have the petite version. And as you can see, it's just this gorgeous uh, light, almost like sky blue. And it has almost like a sea foam green, uh, like a very, very faint green undertone. And I believe the starlight uh, means that this one does have glow in the dark qualities which uh, is so fun I actually used um, some of the starlight beads uh, the other day on Instagram and just being outside in the sunlight for you know five minutes taking pictures I came inside my house which was a little bit dimmer light and those beads just glowed like nobody's business so um, I think believe with this saying it has starlight in it that it's going to have that same type of quality so very very um, happy to have this in my collection let me get all four of those beads that she gifted me um, on this rod so you can see them all together so here we have everything all together as far as the beads that Mila gifted me to review um, not gonna lie, probably the purple and the Arctic are my favorites. Like those are definitely my colors, but this orange, oh my goodness. I just am going to love this for Halloween season and even, uh, kind of like citrus brights in the summertime. Uh, I can see it being paired with kind of a bright lime green. So, or even, uh, well, next to, say, like that turquoise, again, citrus brights. So 
what uh, is your favorite out of everything that I got? Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, I always love hearing from you guys. Have you tried the Petite Range? Have you tried Flower Twigs? Oh my goodness, there's just so many classics in the Elf Beats catalog. So let me know what you think and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.